Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick tip on how you can address one of the issues with the dashboards when you've got charts that have got no data in and so they look broken. Let's have a look. So here I've got a dashboard and this is at the start of a portfolio where there's nothing in there and you can see the chart says unable to display. Now this can happen during a project or during any dashboard where you've got zero data coming through and everything else might be populated. If people see this, they're gonna think things are broken and it's not the case. It's just because there are zero values there. So how can you address this? Well, in this one, this is good because it's saying no data to display, but this one I know is a pie chart, but the problem is you can't see what it's referring to or anything. So that's, that's the challenge here. So what do I do in this case? Well, if I go to the metric sheet, you can see the metrics on this is, it is the green, yellow, red projects. And at the moment, nothing's been populated here. So really a quick fix that you can do on here is actually you can say no projects and you can add in a number here. So what I've got is I've created a little formula, which I will do in this case, and I'm just gonna bring it across and paste it in. And the formula here is saying if the value of these is zero, then put in one. If not, do zero. So let's have a look. So what it's saying is no projects, 100%. So I save this and then go back to the dashboard and refresh. Let's see what happens. There we go. Active projects by rag, 100%, no projects. So that's kind of a, a way to do this. And then what happens if I go back to the metric sheet and actually then there's some data coming through. So there's one green and there's two yellow and there's three red. For example, you can see the number of projects. Well, it's saying, well, the number is greater than zero. So therefore, the number here needs to be zero. Um, so if we go back to this, if I save it, let's go back to the dashboard and refresh here. And you can see it's now got the numbers coming through. So there you have it. A quick tip really on how to address one of those potentially frustrating things where people can lose confidence in your dashboard if it, it looks like something's broken. It's not, it's because the data's not there. Well, find out a way to put some data in there and basically say, if there's no data, put a value in. I've gone in this case for 100% because that seemed the smarter way of doing it in this particular metric. So again, let's just go back out. That is zero, that is zero, and that is zero. 100% if everything here is zero. So again, just so you can see the formula, sum, it's adding the total here. And if that equals zero, enter one, otherwise put zero. So there you have it. Save again, let's just go back and see what happens in this case. And how refreshing, it's refreshed. And well, it's refreshing. And there you have it. Trust that's been useful. Thanks for watching, bye for now.